Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 10 by 20 inch canvas. I have put black paint around the edges and it's still wet. I'm going to put a little more black paint in a moment, but first I want to figure out which way I'm going to swipe from to make my Anita's white metallic go down the middle. Let's just flip this around, shall we? Try. So I have sort of the same amount on both sides. Oh, I don't think that's going to matter a bit. Or I would care, and I don't. Doesn't ma matter how much, how messy the underneath is. So long as I can get everything I want where I want it. In fact, I might even spread that out a little bit before I put some black in. I know this is not a typical setup, but I like trying new things. I'll wipe that off anyway. This is my meat and black. Try a couple ways of getting that on there. See how much I need. Something is preventing it from coming out easily and has been for days and I had did not remember to screen the contents. That is it's gonna get swiped over so I should not be concerned. And if there's something of a copious amount, it's not going to hurt anything. Most people put an entire layer that they then float their colors on, and I'm leaving a somewhat heavier than usual layer of Anita's white metallic in the middle. Did I mention this was Mead and Black, which is on my Amazon link and well worth having, because one coat of it, if you mix it right, pretty much takes care of any issue with canvas showing through. I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to take my Egyptian coin. And make some ovals. And I'm then going to fill in with some other colors. Hopefully. Quite possibly very similar colors to the last swipe I did, but it wasn't exactly like this, so. That is Bonfire. And I might change the order of how I put things down just to see if it makes a difference or not. This is Water Dragon. I have been meaning to mention, I notice when I like things, even the crop details of stuff, a lot of times what strikes it, makes it striking is the fact that there's a lot of contrast. Like the colors can vary greatly from one side to the other, or the texture. So I'm not really doing that. <laughs> this is Pink Diamond. I'm hoping it's mixed enough because I didn't leave any room in the bottle to shake it up. It's a lot of paint for a little canvas too. 
That's why I really didn't want to go pillow paint this time. I've got Claret, which is awesome. Sometimes I think it's not necessary to even do a special pattern, but you're going to get different results if you do different patterns, so why not try one? Now I've got what's left of a container of Pink Lady, which I'm not super fond of, but I have to say that it mixes with the other colors and does something magical. So I'm really, really liking it a lot. The only thing I didn't use was my blue velvet, or if I did, I'm not seeing it. No, I don't think I did. Now I'm going to use a cell activator made of Aussie Floetrol and either black or white or both Amsterdam paint and possibly some dioxazine purple, which is honestly my favorite for making things look awesome. So, I have a card that's uneven. Let's go with this side. Let's start with the dioxazine purple. I decided that I was going this way. <laughs> I kind of found out how much works for me and I like a fair amount, but too much sort of swallowed things. I also like to combine them. And I kind of want to do that. There's a little bit of the black. I just mixed up a new batch of the white, so I don't really know how that's going to be. going back the other way because I can and then I'm going to see what I'll see I should have probably put some gold but that is not coming out very well I think I have a plug and I really wanted to use some white too So if I want to use white, I'm going to have to open that. I got it. Cool. I like it when a plant comes together quickly. I'm getting some cells. Yeah, much better. I need a scrape dish because I like to use the colors that are left. While other people wipe them off, I like to scrape them off into a dish. I'm not getting a ton of cells yet, but they are coming. And I can always swipe again if I want to. Let's just use the black. And then some white. It seems to be working better. Here come the cells. sheet of acetate. I think I found a lump too. I'm tempted to just give that a little bit of a motivating 
tilt because that's pretty cool. That's at least as good as I was hoping for and maybe better right now. Let's go for the white again. And yeah, let's just do it all the way across. That did not cover completely, so I'm going to go back out over it twice. Scridlins and scrapins. Let's do it again. I am applying a little bit of pressure to the card. And I am perfectly willing to drag some paint. And I saw a little canvas, so I'm going to be okay with covering that. And this over here. Alright, I'm not seeing what I want there. Not to say it won't come, but I'm going to use some purple cell activator. Just to give it a second chance. Not in the whole thing, just some. I like the curves of things. I have a whole bunch of little, little tools. Some are ovals and I really like that about them. Alright, let's keep going. I think everything. Going that way. Let's do black on either end, purple in the middle, and on the end, and some white. Yeah, that's pretty intense. I kind of wish I'd used some other gold. Or maybe the gold later in my layering. Well, I think because my white is handy, I'm going to use some of it right now. Right there. And right here. Definitely don't require straight swipes. I see I have a little gap. And then I should tell you guys, thanks for watching. The 20% uh, off promo code underneath the video goes with the color art colors that I've just used. They are all color art colors. Prison pores, in fact. Should you need any information from me, please feel free to ask me in the comments or get in touch with me using my email address. I have this beautiful pink paint that dripped down and I think I'm going to use it. It's dominantly pink, not completely pink. Which turns out to be convenient because I got a little gap there. And now I don't. I'm trying to think if there's something I want to do to this and I really don't feel the need to do a whole lot, except for I was talking about, well you know what, this doesn't have any cells in it, so let's go ahead and try some more white. These cells are really cool. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm, that's not dissuading me from wanting to do that again either, where the purple is. And doing a little purple also. Speaking of purple, it's a dioxazine purple from Hobby Lobby from Modern Masters. From Masters Touch, excuse me. I get those confused constantly. Uh, 
All right, so that is pretty cool. I like it a lot. I can't wait to what, see what it dry, looks like dry. I am using a torch, even though my paint is mixed and you can find the pouring recipe underneath. It starts with an ounce, for me, it starts with an ounce of Vivid Polypore and then slightly less color than the amount of polypore I used. And I drop a little bit of GAC 800 in there if I have it. And hopefully the GAC 800 will keep anything that's heavy from, from cracking. I have a hard time, once I see the pretty patterns, I don't really always want to move the paint. I have one section in here that I could really use some cells in. I got a few over here, but not a lot, and my time is not up yet. So, I guess I'm going to peel my swipe card off the table and just go to town. I want a smaller piece of swipe card. That's what I want. There's usually one hanging around. This one has paint chips hanging off it too, though. I got two minutes to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork. If you're interested in, in inquiring, please feel free to inquire using my email address. It's right below the link tree. The link tree is under show more. Yeah, I'm much happier with that white in there to tell you the truth. And more is better as far as I'm concerned, as far as the cell activator goes. I like my little black showing through in the background. That's not making me unhappy. Looks pretty cool like that. I'm tempted to drop a little more gold in there. And see what happens if I... Oops, I forgot to wipe off my card. Yep, yeah, I'm definitely liking the white in there. All right, so what did I not tell you? Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos and watching them longer. Thank you for watching the commercials, if and when you do. I really appreciate that. Thank you for shopping my Amazon link on the link tree where my two books are because I can in unlimited possibilities. I'm going to try and zoom in on this for you. It's pretty intense. It's a style I enjoy doing, and those cells are growing exponentially. Just huge. I will do my best to zoom in and show you. I like to imagine I might be improving as I play with these colors and these swipe techniques. I'm not used to using Vivid Polypore until recently, and I love adding it to my colors. I have one minute left to tell you there's a monthly drawing, and you can find the exhibition video that shows the prizes for that drawing on the end screen in the last 20 seconds. And you can get into it, or at least get an invitation to get into it by making a donation through PayPal, and you can find the icon on the bottom right-hand corner of the YouTube channel banner on my channel. Aha! And the link is on my link tree also. My spring clothing is below the video, and on my link tree, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and Facebook groups, as well as Society6 and The Gallerist, all good places to shop. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Don't forget my email address is right below the link tree. I love you guys. Take care of each other. I will see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.